Hey y'all, this fall weather is putting me in the mood for a nice soup and this is the time of the year. Our kids have started back to school and we're all kind of settled in that little schedule. But now, holidays are starting and football games are going on and all sorts of ball games and fall festivals. And so I want to share this little chicken tortilla soup with you that most of us have probably already had chicken tortilla soup. This one's really quick and really fast. We're going to use some store-bought items. Still going to be just as good, but it's going to be real fast. So y'all stay with me. We're going to use things that the stores have gone on and the factories have gone on and done for us to make shortcuts. Y'all see what I'm talking about? Yeah, so it's going to be just as flavorful, but we're going to do it in a flash. Got me a big pot. Hopefully, all my soup's going to fit in here. I always make too much soup and it doesn't fit in my pots. What about y'all? <laughs> I'm going to start with some olive oil. You could use butter or any kind of oil you want to. Just, just a couple of teaspoons there to give an onion something to... Saute in. I chopped an onion before I got on here with y'all. I think that's probably like a cup of onion. I know y'all gonna want a measurement. While our onions are just sauteing just for a few minutes to, to soften for us, I'm gonna open my cans of beans. I'm using pinto beans and black beans and a can of whole kernel corn. And I'm gonna open these and just use the lid to kind of Hold it and drain out the juices, okay? And I'm also going to debone and shred this little chicken. And I love that they've already done this at the store for us. So you know, they're the same price. It's sometimes cheaper than buying a raw chicken. We've got these sauteed. That gave us just enough time to open, drain our soups, and to shred our chicken. And look, I just put it in the top, okay? That way we won't mess anything else up. So into our onions is going something really really cool to do karima chicken soup this way we don't have to make any kind of thickener we don't have to use cornmeal or we don't have to make a roux they did all this for us at the factory wasn't that fantastic of them and i've also got some cheddar cheese soup this will also make it cheesy yes it will and also thicken so lots of flavor and thickening goes in to this, I want to add some chicken broth. I have got 32 ounces. I'm going to start with about two cups, and I may add all of it. It just depends on how juicy you like your soup, you know? So just have plenty. Also, I want to add two cups of milk. Y'all remember this milk my nephew Josh brought me? It's fantastic to have. It goes in your pantry. <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it. I'm going to do two cups of it as well. You could also use half and half or some heavy cream in here. Whatever you would like to do. You make this your own. Just do it real fast, okay? All right, I'm going to get this heated up. Kind of mix those soups in. And we're going to continue with our flavor. I have a package of fajita seasoning. This is a 1.2 ounce package. You could use taco seasoning as well, okay? This has all of our seasoning in it, our cumin and our garlic and our onion and chili, all of those things that we didn't have to get in our pantry and get out, right? I know, we can get on to whatever activity we need to do. And I've got some store-bought sauce that already has onions and bell pepper and tomatoes and all of those spices again as well. I'm going to put about a cup, which is going to be about half of this container I've opened. And y'all know I'll put the recipe under the title on Facebook and I'll put it in the description box on YouTube. So no worries, just enjoy. Now I opened that can of pinto beans and I drained just in the can with the lid. I did the same thing with these black beans. I drained them real good. I just used the lid to hold the beans back. If you don't like black beans, just add you both pintos. If you don't like pintos, add both black. If you don't like either one of those, you could use red kidney beans. I drained my corn, one can of that. I'm gonna let this heat up real good, guys. 
We're going to add the chicken and it's going to be ready. This is just a 15 ounce can of this chunky style. I love the big chunks of tomatoes. So we're not doing half. We're doing all, okay? Yes, we are. That's going to make it have all those big chunky. And if you don't want to use some salsa, you could do some um, diced tomatoes. But that salsa's got all that work in it that we didn't have to do. Yes, it does. It's heated up in just a few minutes, and we couldn't quite call it chicken tortilla soup without chicken <laughs> going in. I chopped mine instead of shredded it. And without tortillas going in, I've got some big flour tortillas. And traditionally, I'm just going to get me, let's see, let's start with one. Traditionally... This is what you put in here in strips to thicken your chicken tortilla soup. So we are going to stick to tradition, even though we put those thickened soups in there. We did it real fast, didn't we? I'm just cutting these some little strips. You can just tear it and put it in there however you want to. Now I'm cutting them again. You see that? That is our tortilla for our chicken and tortilla soup. Just like that. And we've got soup. Now what you can do from here, you can put this in a crock pot. You can take your kids out trick-or-treating. You can go to that fall festival. You can go to that ball game. And when you come home, your whole house is going to smell good. And there's going to be something warm in the crock pot for your family to enjoy. Y'all, this is how I'm gonna serve it up to John. I'm gonna put some in a bowl, put a little sour cream, and you can crumble up some tortilla chips, put in the bottom and pour it on top of it if you want to, or you can buy these in the salad section of the grocery store, tortilla strips to put on your salads, and they're wonderful to sprinkle on top of your soups as well, not just your salad. So that's what we shall do. Woo, this bowl was hot. I was going to show y'all. Y'all see? Doesn't that look good? Yum. Y'all saw how fast we put that together, right? I know. Get us a crunchy tortilla chip. Y'all ready for a bite? Those little tortilla strips give it just the right amount of crunch. Okay, guys. Y'all run out real quick, get stuff, throw it in the pot, and then head on to your activity. I'll see y'all next time.